So how exactly are we going to find out where Steelbeard buried his treasure? Easily. The same way as you get most men to talk. Not like that! I just mean enough rum and he'll be singing us the location. How am I doing? Huh, like you're not cocky enough. We have a mission and a long way to go. Core, it don't half make life easier having slaves around. Yeah, nice to give me poor old bat rest. We'll be heading to the Sword Coast soon. Yeah, but they won't. <laughs> Ah, you got rid of your uniform. Good, good. I told my chaps I'd given you a dishonorable discharge due to inappropriate behavior. A not unreasonable explanation, judging by the state of you. Now, no one will link you to the Inquisition. What a splendid day. Arsehole. Aye, aye. Who have we got here? We don't usually get anyone but soldiers and workers around here. People who do something useful. But you? You just look like some kind of work-shy layabout. What's your business here in Puerto Sacarico? I'm just passing through. Disreputable type like you? A likely story. Still, perhaps you could come in useful. Maybe you could go and see Lieutenant Rockfall. He's looking for someone to take a message to the pirates, and you might fit the bill. Listen up. Here's a word to the wise. This is a decent place, and I aim to keep it that way. Worst comes to the worst, you can always work with the slaves harvesting sugarcane in the fields. Get on my wrong side, though, and you'll be seeing the inside of our tower lockup. Only one guest in there at the moment, so plenty of room for another undesirable like you. We understand each other. I think so. Wow, look, who do we have here? <laughs> if it isn't the lout. He even looks like a lout. Do you know what he did? Uh, the Commandant didn't say. Something unspeakable to that girlfriend of his, I think. The dirty dog. Come on, let's go. Let's get something to eat. You're in port, Lieutenant. I'm afraid the delivery is somewhat smaller this time. What do you mean by smaller? A few of the crates are missing. Missing? How? Pirates must have crept into the storehouse at night. But the storehouse is guarded at night, is it not? Um... What do you mean by, uh... The guards were elsewhere, sir. Chasing the runaway slave, sir. They what? Don't shoot the messenger, sir. Then who should I shoot, Lieutenant? It's all Di Fuego's fault. He ordered me to halve the number of guards. Di Fuego! The High Council should never have allowed a civilian to take command! My thoughts exactly, Commandant. Did I ask your opinion? Dismissed! Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-nine... What? You forgot twenty-eight. I've got my own system, so don't go confusing me. Sorry, did I interrupt you? Well, yes, but not from anything important. Just making sure the posh folk of Caldera will still have sugar for their tea. It's crazy, isn't it? The whole world's going to shit, 
And here we are still worrying about pennies and profit. So, you here looking for a job? I need to go to the other side of the island. Blimey, you're a brave one, aren't you? All sorts of nastiness running about there. Wild animals, escaped slaves, pirates. Yeah, pirates. A whole bunch of them, out east. So if you're heading out there, you'll need the proper gear. Do you know anything about the pirates? Never even seen one before, mate. Ask Rock for. He knows about pirates. Is there a map of the island? Ask De Fuego. He might know. He's the governor of Puerto Sacrico. You'll never get in to see him looking like that, though. At least put a shirt on. So I need to get some clothes. Count as your man for that. He's prison guard at the tower. He's always got uh, odds and ends for sale. Where can I get supplies? Try Osorio. He'll sell you some. He'll be in his kitchen in the little building in front of the square. I need to earn some gold. Well, always plenty of work for day laborers here. How do I sign up? Go see Osorio. He's the man to speak to. I have to get going now. Right home. Now, where was I? 29. So I was. 29, 30, 31. Bloody nonsense. Problems? You could say that. It's De Fuego. The man drives me crazy. He's a civilian with no idea about military matters. And yet the High Council still put him in charge here. You have to take orders from him? As commander of the guard here, I've little choice. But just look what he's done to the guard allocation. I've so few men left, I can't guarantee the colony's safety. And now he even expects me to send men to the pirate's den. He's mad if he thinks those cutthroats will bargain with us. Can you teach me to fight with a sword? I could give you a few useful tips on using an epee. How about a practice fight to get you started? Can you show me some sword skills? Gladly. What about parrying? Don't just block an attack. Try sweeping it aside. Keep your blade low, and then bring it up fast at the last moment. Do it right, and you'll knock the other fellow's blade away. Timing's everything, so make sure you're paying attention. I want to make faster attacks. Then it's important to have a firm grip. The epee is a fast and elegant weapon. It doesn't take much strength to use, but you will need speed and skill. Use your wrists to control the blade's movement. That's the secret to using an epee. I'm looking for pirates. Wait, I know you. Yes, you're that chap Sebastiano had drummed out. In person. Then you might be just the man I'm looking for. How about you take this message to the pirates? You'll get a hundred gold for delivering it, and another hundred for bringing back the reply. What do you say? I say you've got yourself a messenger. So here's the letter and the gold. The pirate's den is somewhere on the island, probably to the northeast, and you should get yourself kitted out before you go. Good idea. Pedro can tell you where to find what you need. I've spoken to him already. Then you know the score. Sorry, must dash. Blast it and bugger it. I keep the whole colony fed. But what help do I get? I'll tell you. Bugger all. 
Got any provisions to sell? I suppose so. Just let me know what you need. Any work going here? About bloody time someone asked that. Want to earn 200 gold? Know much about cooking? I can fry meat. Meaning you know how to burn it on a stick over a fire? Well, I can use you for a messenger. But I still need someone to help in the kitchen. How about your girlfriend here? She looks like a lass who knows her way around a kitchen. And you look like a fat creep who's going to get a knee in the balls. Give me a minute. I'll sort it out. About that kitchen thing. There's nothing to discuss. I have this plan. Uh-huh. We need provisions. Yes, so? And you're in the kitchen. No, I'm not. I mean, if you were in the kitchen. What? Then you could pocket a few more rations, maybe even a couple of bottles of rum. No one will notice. So I work against my will. Yes. And you get the money. Yes. And then I steal things. Really? Okay. But remember, I'll get knives in this job. About that job. Sort something out, did you? Patty will help you. She will? Excellent. And that messenger job's yours. So you can start by um, taking Grog to the field guards. Go see Giles, next to the little house at the end of the valley. Now go! Shoo! No, I don't have time right now. Try that with me, there'll be trouble. Where are you off to? I need to talk to Di Fuego. You'll have to put on some proper clothes if you want to see the governor. all my stuff. He's already sold my red bandana. Some fucker in the barracks has got my boots in front of his bed. And he kept my black pearl earring for himself. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not the only one having bad luck, eh? Your mates in the Inquisition chuck you out. Everything go okay at the storehouse. Something like that. Ah, you're one of us now, mate. So, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. Join up with the pirates? Pirates, eh? Listen, and I'll give you a tip. There's someone among the pirates who can give you a lockpick. You get it and bring it here, and I'll show you how to use it. Okay. Go to the pirate's den and find a smith called Stone. He owes me, so we'll give the pick to you for free if he knows I sent you. How do I prove that? Bring him something of mine. Either my bandana or that black pearl of mine. How do I get the pearl? 
you know how to pick pockets. Uh, no worries. I know all about the art of thieving. How can I get the bandana? Carter sold it to the warden, Riley. Smarmy bastards wearing it around the place right now. Challenge him to a duel to get it back. That way the guards won't get involved. How do I get the pearl? Do you know how to pick pockets? Uh, no worries. I know all about the art of thieving. Your boots are in the barracks. Relax. Bastards there go to sleep at night, same as everyone else. Just sneak in and grab them. Piece of piss. You know how to sneak, I taught you. There's got to be more stuff in there to nick. Can you make me a better thief? For gold? Sure. Any tips for beginners? Someone sees you nicking stuff and they'll usually come at you. Some blokes are wimps. They'll make noise but do fuck all else. Most women are like that too. Always check to see if they're carrying. No weapon, no hassle, see? I want to be good at pickpocketing. <laughs> Who doesn't? Lift the goodies from inside a tart, Snickers. A good pickpocket could. But you can start with the easy stuff. Keep your mark distracted. That's the first and most important trick. To get better, though, you'll need to learn more thievery. Can we finish this later? I've got to get going. Hang about? You uh, wouldn't have a swig of grog on you. Bastards don't give me nothing to drink to try to force me to work. Here you go. Whoa, you're a lifesaver, mate. How do I get the pearl? You give the bloke a grog, and when he drinks it, you grab his ear and rip the pearl out. Dumb bastard probably won't even notice. You sure about that? It'll come out easy, trust me. I should know. I wore that thing for years. So, I guess you want to speak to the prisoner. What's the prisoner doing here? We sent him into the fields with the Moluccas, but Riley reckoned he was too much of a troublemaker. So, he's gonna stew a few days in the tower. I hear you sell clothing. Yeah? Says who? Pedro might have mentioned it. Look if you want. You look like you could use something fresher. How about a grog? Wouldn't say no. What? You about to buy me dinner too? Not likely. You're beginning to annoy me. Is that why you're drinking so fast? Yeah. If I'm lucky, I'll pass out soon. Show me what you've got.
shiny. Fine. I'll leave you in peace. That's much better. You can talk to the governor now. The way I see it, governor, half my chaps defend your villa, not the colony. Come now, commandant. The colony is adequately defended. That's not the way it sounds in Lieutenant Rockfall's report. Rockfall? I'm the big cheese here, not him. When the pirates landed on the other side of the island, he made a stink about increasing security. But his highest priority should be the safety of the governor. Me. The High Council never. Do you presume to invoke the council that appointed me governor? Now, Commandant, out of the goodness of my heart, I've ordered supplies be taken aboard your vessel so you can sail at the earliest opportunity. Would you have me rescind these instructions? I'm waiting for the ship. And what can I do for you? Rockfall commissioned me to take a letter to the pirates. So you have it with you then? Yes. Let me see it. Still sealed. Good. Make sure it stays that way until it gets to where it's supposed to. Understand? Absolutely. I need a map of the island. Well, for a hundred gold, it's all yours. But how will I deliver your letter if I don't know where I'm going? Hmm, fair point. I'll give it to you free then. Can't have you getting lost, can we? I need some equipment. I've got some stuff that I keep spare for visitors. I warn you now, though, I'm not running a charity. It'll cost. I heard right about some escaped slaves. Slaves is such a harsh word. I prefer the term involuntary workforce. Those savages should be grateful that we give them proper clothing and a roof over their heads. But oh no, they still want to run off and live in the jungle like animals. And then they think they deserve some kind of revenge on those who looked after them. I'm a lenient man, but you have to be rough with these renegades. It's the only thing they understand. That's why I put a price on their heads. How much is the bounty? There's three of these savages, so it's a hundred gold a head. Can't you just send your soldiers after them? If I send Rockfor out with his men, he'll patrol along the edge of the jungle and come back empty-handed. Too scared to go in the jungle, and it's not like I've got time to do the job myself. Maybe you should raise the bounty. I hope you're not accusing me of anything. For 200 ahead, I bet someone could be persuaded to take the job. Someone like you, you mean? I'll hunt them down for you. You will? Good man. I'll have the gold ready waiting when you get back. However, for 600 gold, I expect all three of their heads. Nice. Show me what you've got.
Still not a pirate yet. Nothing I can do. Nice bandana. That mean you're in charge? Someone's got to be. Gonna have these lazy savages slacking off. Let them know who's boss. That's the best way to treat these scum. Well then, hand it over. Oh, you're a real comedian, aren't you? Wait, you're serious? Hand it over, and no one will get hurt. Aye. Thanks. How's the sugar harvest going? Some of the slaves ran away not too long ago. We went after them and caught one, but his pals got away. De Fuego put a price on their heads, but nobody's in a hurry to claim it. They'll have armed themselves by now. They'll be waiting in the jungle for us. No worries, though. We'll catch them out in the open eventually. Nothing I can do. Heads up, I brought Grog for you. Who are you? Did that lazy bastard find himself another errand boy? Hey, it's a job. Money's money. Suppose so. Give it here then. While you're at it, give Tompkins a shout. He's out in the forest, warthog hunting. Tell him there's Grog. That'll get his attention. I can do that. Ta. I'd do it, but then who'd be keeping guard here? What's in the hut? Storage for the sugar cane that gets harvested. What's left of it, anyway. A lot of it seems to have gone walkies. Bloody pirates. Steal anything they would. Why would pirates steal sugar cane? You thick. To make rum, of course. There's a bunch of them settled to the east. Probably did it just to get at the sugar cane. Well, they won't be doing any more thieving on my watch. You don't store anything else here? Just a bit of equipment, torches, tools and the like. Will you sell me some of that equipment? Uh, don't see why not. But let's keep it between us, eh? All for me. Hey, you see that piece of ugly there? Capital warthog, that is. Not pretty, but you need something to eat out in the sticks. It's all there is. But you've got to know the trick to killing them. 
And what is the trick to killing them? You get them mad. Really mad. Like he came home and found Mrs. Warthog in a bed with a pig mad. So he'll charge, get those tusks coming at you full speed. That's when you dodge. Get out the fucking way, no waiting. Then you wallop him. Preferably in the arse with a shotgun. Would you like to go hunting with me? Well, I don't know. I had hog for lunch. But I could watch you get skewered. Okay, I'll help you. We can hunt together. Or, if you want to try yourself, I'll be here to laugh. I mean, help. Let's hunt it together. Wise choice. Let's get it. The beast must die! Bothering anyone now. The beast is dead. You can cook yourself up a lot of rations with that. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I'm going back to my post. What do you know about this forest? Just one thing. You want to live? Stay in the valley. Don't go near the hills unless you fancy being mauled by a jaguar. And if that doesn't do it for you, then there's a cave, too. A cave? Oh, yes. A fascinating flora and fauna, I'm sure. That eat you. But it doesn't matter. Because if you go that way, you're cat food before you even see the cave. All right, all right. I'll stay down here. Good man. You want to see a nice cave? I think there's one on the northwest side of the valley. So where can I get a gun? I've got some old ones. Might blow your hand off, but that'd distract it. Inquisition saved the fancy guns for the protectors. But you'd need a gunsmith to teach you how to use a musket. I've no idea. So where will I find a gunsmith? Not in Puerto Sacarico. They're all in Caldera. But maybe you could find one with the pirates in the east. Can't say how you'd find them, but sure you'd find a way. Let's see your weapons. Gilles has rum for you. Ah, make him wait. Did Osorio send you? Aye. Then you can save me the trouble of giving this to him myself. Here, I get rum, he gets hog. It's a good deal for me. Damn, I'm good.
I delivered the grog. And you bought that meat? Here. Tompkins says hello. Well, he can bugger off. So can you. Here's your money. Your girlfriend must be finished by now. Share the gold with her. Let's go over there where we can talk in peace. I got your damn supplies. Great. Give them here. Oh, no, you don't. The cook gave you money. Where is it? But I'm good for it, really. Fine. Then I'll have a lovely dinner by myself. You get hungry, you can dig up some nutritious worms. Thank you. 